Shannon. Well, in suburban LaGrange Park, a man is gearing up for his biggest harvest to date. Nearly 10,000 tomato plants, all of which he started growing in his basement. Aaron's here now with his wild story. Can you imagine, right? That's a yeah. lot of tomato yes. plants. So his name is Bob Zinni, but around town, pretty much everyone knows him as the Chicago Tomato Man. And you are about to see why. I don't know. I don't know when this started to take over my life. I didn't know when it became so important to me, but it's great. Now, all of these are test plants. 20 years ago, yeah. graphic designer Bob oh, Zinni yeah. was looking for a hobby. But you can see already there's some nubbies on that one. Mm -hmm. His wife suggested he give tomatoes a try. She said, you hate those, those tomatoes in grocery stores. Why don't you try it yourself? And so he did. This, this is the, the plant lab where Bob now grows starts for more than 120 heirloom tomato varieties. It was just covered with these flats full of these plants. One woman said, hey, you know, there's a guy in our neighborhood who grows tomatoes. And I went, yes, that's my husband. And as word got around, so did orders for the Chicago Tomato Man. He started putting them all over the house, you know. I mean, they were, you know, basically in every window that had sun. Last year, the Chicago Tomato Man grew more than 5,000 tomato plants. And then he started taking over the garage. As he scrambled to keep up with the orders pouring in online. I mean, it was just a jungle in there, and Wendy was like, no, no more. Now, the Tomato Meister has customers pick up the spindly beauties at 22 different pop-up markets around town. I, I can't tell you how many people have said, you know, who knew? Who knew this is what tomatoes are supposed to taste like? Lithium Sunset, which is beautiful. The Chicago Tomato Man proudly fanning out his plethora of seeds. Arkansas Marvel. It's like candy. Polaris. Principe Borghese, Purple Calabash. Showing folks there's more out there than what he calls supermarket red water balloon tomatoes. These tasteless travesties have ruined the reputation of the tomato. This year, Bob has nearly doubled his orders, leaving Chicago's tomato man nearly beside himself. All right, so look, um, like a lot of tomato enthusiasts, I suffer from the heartbreak of OGD, obsessive gardening disorder. Doing graphic design put food on the table, but in the end, it was the tomatoes that fed his soul. The customers. Have a great growing season. And having them so excited. I mean, people are, I mean, they're overjoyed. And, you know, that's the great part, too. It's just wonderful. <laughs> Even his wife, who puts up with the tomato jungle, because as Bob says, she loves me from my head to my toes. <laughs> I'm sorry. I couldn't help but I had to put that in because it was too cute. And they were too cute. So while Chicago's Tomato Man has already sold out of several varieties, you can still pre-order those plants online with most running between six and 10 bucks. And we'll post a link to his website you can see what's left and also all those pop-up markets as well. He needs so. some extra space, though, to, like, grow all these tomatoes somewhere else. Well, no, you can he... sit down with his wife and talk for hours. <laughs> oh, man. For hours. I, gonna... <laughs> I love that I behind for her. every guy yeah. with, like, this crazy out-of-control yeah. habit is a very understanding wife. Well, she was the one who told him to start it. So she can't really say much of anything, <laughs> yeah. right? She's just got to zip it and uh, deal with it. Great story. Thanks, <laughs> I love Aaron. it. Thank you. Uh, the bowl's down to